Welcome to this YouTube video brought to you by, Name, your source for the latest news in the business and finance world. Today, we'll be discussing 5 companies making waves before the opening of the bell today. We'll start with Etsy, a popular online marketplace for handmade, vintage, and speciality items. Unfortunately, the company has seen a 6% drop in pre-market after Jeffries double downgraded the stock to underperform from buy. The firm noted the need for the company to spend more on marketing due to increasing buyer churn. Next up, we'll discuss Silvergate Capital, a crypto lender that has seen its stock drop 50% after announcing it will wind down operations and liquidate Silvergate Bank. This news came a week after the bank warned it may not be able to remain in operation and follows a series of financial challenges and government investigations due to the collapse of FTX. Uber has seen a much more positive response today with its stock rising more than 2%. This comes after Bloomberg reported the company may be looking to spin off its freight logistics division, which reported revenue of 1.5 billion US dollars in the fourth quarter. Unfortunately, the same cannot be said for MongoDB, whose stock has dropped more than 10% after offering weak guidance on revenue which greatly disappointed investors. Despite this, the company still had effective earnings and revenue for the fourth quarter. SVB Financial has also seen its stocks drop over 30% today after the company announced a plan to offer $1.25 billion of its common stock and $500 million of depository shares. Credit Suisse saw its US traded shares drop more than 4% when the company announced the delay of its annual report due to comments made by the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, regarding cash flow statements in 2019 and 2020. Finally, Loan Depot has dropped more than 10% after its fourth quarter earnings report missed analyst expectations. The report showed loss of 46 cents per share and revenue of $169.7 million while analysts had expected a loss of 27 cents per share and revenue of $190.9 million. On a more positive note, Hilton has seen an upgrade in its stock today with Barclays raising the rating to overweight from equal weight. This is estimated to be due to the company's ability to weather macro challenges better than its peers. That about wraps up today's YouTube video brought to you by, Name. Stay tuned for more updates on the business and finance world.